Okay, hello and welcome to Dr. Red Frizzle here, and today I'm going to be, going to be like, discussing with you a, a, few, a few of the key problems and functions of, of vitamin B2, otherwise known as riboflavin. Okay, so the functions, as I've sort of mentioned here, you've got blood cell production, which is primarily in erythrocytes. Erythrocytes are the, is the scientific name for red blood cells. Um, it's primarily used in these. It's not so much used in white blood cells, which are used to, to like, fight infection in the body. Um, Another one here is cell growth, so it's actually used to, to help help the cells grow. Um, this primarily happens like before mitosis. I'll probably go into into like cell division if, if you watch one of my other videos. Uh, I'll probably go into that in the future in one of my future videos. But anyway, it helps prevent cataracts as well, which are eye issues. I, sh I should probably mention that the target that the target sort of organs for this particular vitamin are the eyes and the skin. Uh, uh, the reason why I have the skin is because it, it can also be used for its antioxidant purposes. Antioxidant is something which protects the body from free radicals, which are sort of particles in the air which are constantly bombarding the body from the outside. You're not even aware of them because they're, they're, they're sort of so small, but they're, they're always there. And, and sort of and sort of specific vitamins such as this one help help protect the body from these particular free radicals. Um, Okay, so, so if you have, have too little of this particular vitamin or you have a deficiency, this can lead to things like fatigue, uh, digestive problems and sores slash cracked skin. As I mentioned before, like skin and eyes are the target, are the target sort of organs. Or, you, you wouldn't actually think that skin is an organ, but it is an organ. Um, it's actually the largest organ in the body, the skin is. But, yeah, but as I was saying, if you have a deficiency, this can lead to problems associated with the skin, which is like sores and cracked skin. And you can have eye problems such as such such as you're more likely to develop, to develop cataracts if you don't have this vitamin. Uh, I've listed listed here like a few RDAs, um, which is basically recommended recommended daily amounts of this particular vitamin. Um, 1.3 milligrams is for men. Um, as you'd expect, 1.1 is for women because women usually women generally require less of particular nutrients, um, like because like, they're actually smaller in stature than men. Um, over here we have some sort of sources of where you can actually get this particular vitamin from. So we've got meats, mushrooms, eggs and broccoli. You've also got some fortified cereals. Um, what do we actually mean by a fortified cereal? Well a fortified cereal is essentially a cereal that's had particular nutrients and stuff added to it like during the processing, um, like, like part of actually production of the cereal. Um, so, so, so what the manufacturers will do is, 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 they'll, is they'll think, oh yes, it'll be good to actually have have this particular vitamin in this particular type of cereal. So that they'll put it in sort of as an extra in order to prevent these problems which you get from deficiencies, as I've listed there. Okay, so that's primarily what I want you to talk to you about. Um, I haven't actually listed who's at risk the most, but this is this is primarily the elderly and alcoholics because elderly just tend to be a weak group, and the alcoholics. Um, are sort of at risk. Oh, yes, yeah, so I'll list here alcoholics, elderly. So, so essentially, that these two groups.